here. I got a new show for y'all. Got a damn good show. I'm about to show y'all the evil well, the evil side of capitalism. There's an evil side to anything, though. Yeah, I know. There's an evil side, good side to everything. Yeah. Tyson Foods. Like it's an evil side. Seatbelt. Some people get hung by them damn things. Again, auto accident. Sometimes it saves your life. So funny. You said they get hung? They get hung. It's supposed to save your life. It, 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 All right, I get it. All right, Tyson Foods up in Ohio, they laid off a bunch of people, a bunch of American workers. Man, it's hurting. And, they, and actually the economy in that, in that city in Perry, I think it's Iowa or Ohio, but I think it was Iowa. But that that company was established in that city, and it they established a whole economy based around that one company. Yeah. Now they're closing down, going somewhere else. Really? Yeah. Why they closing? Oh, why they closing? Oh man, they oh. selling out. They selling out the American worker for foreign cheap labor. Here huh? we go. Watch it. Here we go. Democrats. Perry, Iowa, is yeah, one of the Iowa. great American suburbs. Quaint shops on the main boulevard, local produce sections at the grocery store, and pristine parks sprinkled throughout the town. It reached a golden era in the 60s and 70s when Tyson Foods opened up its pork factory and revolutionized the town's economy. It's a relatively small town with strong values and a very close-knit community. Ugly cause. <laughs> I just think it's a family community, and... If you are willing to put out a little effort, I think everyone makes you feel welcome. Would you consider Perry a good place to grow? Definitely. Definitely. I am, I am really pro-Perry. I like the small town atmosphere. You get to know people. You walk down the street. They say hi to you. If uh, you need help, you know who you can turn to, that kind of thing. But Perry, Iowa is about to change drastically, and not for the better. This week, Tyson Foods announced that it will be permanently closing its pork factory in Perry killing around 1,200 jobs in a town of just 8,000 people. So as Perry residents struggle to cope with mass layoffs, Tyson Foods has its eyes on a different class of workers. The company is now offering new jobs to asylum seekers in other states like New York. Bloomberg says Tyson's tracking migrants in a massive database. They scroll through the data like Facebook. You see a worker you like, tap hire. They even had a job fair. So you were at a Tyson fair in New York City not so long ago where Tyson was basically making this pitch. What did you observe when you went there? They created a database uh, for these new asylum seekers in New York City. So these people would come in, they'd learn a little bit about the company, and for the most part, Tyson had already gone through their various details of their application. And so many of them, uh, 17 the day I was there, and then uh, another 70 a couple weeks later, uh, went off to Tennessee to go start their uh, new jobs as uh, Tyson production uh, workers. Oh, and the jobs come with perks, not just health insurance. Tyson's also offering lawyers to its illegal alien workers and time off to attend immigration hearings in 2034, of course. They're firing Americans and offering perks to illegals. This was the Democrat plan all along. Well, first of all, let's just say we are a nation of immigrants. Mm -hmm. 460,000 open jobs today. Wow. I have 5,000 farm jobs that I need filled so we can plant the crops. Vegetables would rot in the ground if, it weren't, if they weren't being picked by many immigrants, many illegal immigrants. You see even in Florida, some of the farmers and the growers saying, why are you shipping these uh, immigrants uh, up north? We need them to pick the crops. We reached out to Tyson for comment, and they said they have a very diverse set of employees, and they're proud of it. I used to work in this factory when I got out of the Marine Corps. Mm -hmm. And uh, it was in Irvine, California, and uh, I was the only black guy there. Everybody else is uh, Latino, right? You know why? And then, uh, hold on. You know why? He's the, the cheapest Negro they could find. Who, me? Yep. Well, this pay me $9 an hour. No, this pay me 8 When those Mexicans in there, well, not Mexicans, Latinos found out how much I was making, it pissed them off. How much they paying them? $3? I think he said it was getting paid like $6.25. I think that's 
And then you go in the back in the warehouse, it was um it was a bunch of Latinas working there, right? Mm-hmm. In gowns and hats, and none of them spoke English. None. The guys I work with, they barely spoke English. Yep. Just because there's cheap labor. Cheap labor. But that's um that's why a lot of capitalists is for you know, in favor of Democrats because they know they can bring a bunch of workers here. They don't pay them nowhere near as much as they pay an American worker. That's why they was willing to let go of all those American workers because they've been working there for decades. Decades. They can get someone cheaper. Probably cheaper and work harder. Yeah. I'm not sure American workers work hard. Yeah, too. we work hard, but don't nobody work harder than a Mexican. Illegal. Because they, they. Yeah, because they're desperate. Yeah. It's their livelihood. That's a good point. They desperate. I mean, I've done some crazy stuff when I'm desperate. Because sometimes you're so desperate when you do it, you you, you like it because you're desperate. See what I'm saying? Let's get back to the topic. I'm still on topic. No, I mean, you talking crazy over there. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, man, I'm never buying Tyson's again. I gave up the NBA, right? You gonna boycott Tyson's? I ain't buying Tyson's. I haven't ate Tyson's. I don't know how long. Have you ate Tyson's? Nah. That's like some damn Gordon's fish sticks. That's why it's so easy to protest. It's like who goes to the store and buys Gordon's fish sticks? That's horrible. It's like a pasty fish. And Tyson's. Yeah, that, that chicken is. It's more bread than chicken. I mean, okay, the regular chicken. The regular okay, chicken bread. Okay, that's fine. Yeah. Yeah, but I ain't buying that chicken. But anymore. you buy that box Tyson's? Yeah, don't buy the chicken. It's not hard. It's not hard to boycott Tyson's. I don't, I don't buy that products anyway. Well, you got to double check now. You got an incentive to check. You know. Yeah. You've been incentivized. I've been galvanized to check for that chicken. To stand up for the American. It's got to do anything with Tyson's. I ain't buying it. Stay away from Bud Light, even though Kid Rock is drinking again. <laughs> No, oh, man, you have a... No, nah, don't drink that shit ever again. I gave up basketball. You can give up that training piss. I catch a couple of highlights of basketball. Yeah, on TikTok, but I ain't watching on TV. Yeah, I, I catch some I highlights. watch a couple of highlights, but I ain't watching the full game. Yeah. I might see what Jokic did. I might, I might, I might, I might, I might check out the last game, game seven. Yeah, that's, that's too much. See what Jokic's going to do to them Negroes again. Yeah, see what the white man going to do with them Negroes. <laughs> Yeah, that white boy got Negroes as numbers, man. <laughs> well, he's seven foot. Where's he from? Some white country. They Czech Republic or something. Somewhere really white. Yeah. He, when you when yeah. you see somebody, he's like, yep, he's from Czech Republic. I can tell by looking at that strong ass face he got. And them wide ass shoulders. Those Czech shoulders. Man, what the hell are we talking about? <laughs> I, mean, yeah, I think this, this is disgusting what Tyson yeah, this, Boots this are doing. Yeah, this makes me, man, it's, it's like being kicked. Have you ever been kicked in the nuts when you wasn't looking? That's what this feels like. Well, they did this. Uh, we we from Martinsville, Virginia. There's a place called Toltex. Yeah. Uh, right. Plenty of field crafts. We had a bunch of factories. Yeah, they. Uh, it was like a cotton um, manufacturer. They make, like, shirts, yeah, tiles. Yeah, a bunch of manufacturing jobs for textiles. Right. Yeah, yeah. Right, and I remember, um, and the city of Martinsville really depended on these jobs. Mm-hmm. They closed down Toltex and went to Mexico. Yeah, all the jobs did. Yeah, destroyed the economy in that city. Yeah, all for cheap labor. It was. I'm sure they was turning a profit in America, but greed yeah, gets to you. You could double. You probably double your profits taking your job, getting some. Um, Man, you you quadruple your profits. I ain't saying all that now. Think about it. You pay them in pesos. That shit ain't worth nothing. <laughs> I think a peso is worth like half of American. I think like yeah. 30 pesos is worth half of American dollar. Yeah. And you give them a couple hundred pesos. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, senor. They can buy all kinds of tortillas and, and free holders with that. Yeah. And they, 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 they blown in meat. Because they consider that to be steak in Mexico. No, oh, they got that chorizo. I like that choice. Yeah, yeah. That's nothing but spicy, balled up bologna. They call it chorizo. Spicy. Yeah. Yep. Tyson Foods, y'all getting boycotted. You're going down. It's over.
Joe's over, Tyson's over for you. Show it your true colors, man. If you are a Republican, if you're just an American, period, well, I just have to keep it Republican and conservative. Because, you know, the left, they have no moral compass. Yeah. You know, the owners of uh, Tyson, they got to be some Dems. Oh, yeah. They got to be. Might probably transgender. Hey, we got our giveaways almost up. Last week or so. Give away a Ford F-250 and 10000 cash to end of the win. Man, what's going Go to officialhawkstwins.com. Anything you buy from the site, get you automatically man, into the win. What's going to come of our great nation? These Democrats are ruining it, man. They're not for the American worker. They're for Pedro. They're for Joe Boo. What? Let's cut this camera off. <laughs>